video long time no see you guys vacation away for the holiday for thanksgiving lasted a little bit longer than expected so i apologize i did try to pre-film as much as possible but clearly i didn't pre-film enough so sometimes things happen they're out of our hands so i apologize for the missed uploads but i'm back i changed the shelving of course like i said i would everything was pink and now it's all red and green it's so cute and i love the way it looks in today's video let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the shelving back there super festive and so so is today's makeup look so I wanted to bring you guys something fun something Christmas something exciting something bold you guys know we have to start with something bold on this channel so I was like you know what let's do a green cut crease and from here I'm looking on my screen you can't really see the beautiful pigment that I outlined the green with but of course I'm going to show you guys some low light footage of my eyes so you can see exactly what they look like and I recommend that you guys follow me on Instagram I do like these up close photos of my eye makeup looks so you can see every single little detail and really get into the eye makeup so I absolutely love today's look we're also not wearing a new lip she's wearing a bold lip okay that's how you know it's the holiday season so I'm super excited to get into today's look before we jump in I did want to talk about one of my favorite brands ever I'm gonna be partnering with a ton of my favorite brands for the month of December of course for the holiday season just to kind of give you guys a couple of gift ideas so for today's video I wanted to talk about Dossier. You guys have seen me work with them a million times. I absolutely adore Dossier. They're super affordable and right now is the time to try them. So here's what the package looks like when you receive your Dossier package in the mail. It's this cute little box. It does say Dossier and when you go ahead and open it up you do get your fragrance inside. So Dossier is basically a company that creates your favorite fragrances but for a fraction of the price. So these are inspired by super popular fragrances. The one that I actually have here today is inspired by Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb, which I'm pretty sure you've probably heard of it or you've probably tried it yourself. It's a super popular fragrance. And the only thing about Dossier is you're not getting that super fancy bottle, but you're also not paying that super fancy price, which I absolutely love. So it just comes in a regular bottle like so. It is a glass bottle, which is nice. So it's still heavy duty. It still looks. It's still something that'll look really nice and sleek and look really cute on your vanity it's not like ugly or anything like that it's still aesthetically pleasing and you guys get a lot of perfume in here and like I said it smells identical to the actual fragrance you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference so along with your perfume you also do get a little information card that looks like this this card just tells you the notes of the fragrance what it's called the concentration as well as how the return policy works so if you open up your fragrance you give it a few spritz you wear it for a day or two and you don't like it you absolutely can return your fragrance and get a full refund which is amazing especially when it comes to fragrance you're not able to physically smell them so it's amazing to know that you won't get stuck with it if you end up not liking it which I love and I think that's amazing of them so something else that is super exciting Dossier just actually started to create candles so I do have right here one of their candles and this candle right here is basically the candle version of the flower bomb fragrance which is so exciting because you guys I love candles. I always have a candle burning. I am obsessed with them and the way that these candles smell. The concentration of these candles is on another level and I love it. I can light one of these candles in my room and you can smell it throughout the entire house. That's how strong it is and I personally love it because I just have to burn it for maybe like 20 minutes and the whole house smells amazing so I can turn this baby off and savor it for as long as possible. So here's what the candle looks like. Like I said, this one is inspired by Flower Bomb. So like I said, I highly recommend that you guys check out Dossier right over here on the screen. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm looking at. So if you go on their website, they're having a holiday sale. So the more that you purchase, the more percentage you get off. And when I tell you guys affordable, I'm telling you there's a few fragrances on here that you can get for $17, $23. It's absolutely insane. So it's definitely a perfect gift for a loved one or even a gift to yourself if you guys enjoy fragrance. I'm going to leave all the information down below in the description box as well as their website so you guys can definitely go ahead and check them out. Alright you guys so we're going to go ahead and finally jump into today's makeup look and kick off the holiday season on my channel. Before we jump in please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. And of course, without further ado, if you'd like to see how I created this makeup look today and see some new products in action, then just keep on watching. pause for a second. I wanted to quickly explain to you guys my lip combo because I didn't show the lip combo in today's video and I feel like I should have obviously because I never wear a bold lip. So I just wanted to quickly tell you guys what I'm wearing on my lips. So for lip liner I went in with the Morphe lip liner in the shade Bar. It's a beautiful brown burgundy kind of color. It's extremely deep but it's definitely not red. Anytime I do a red lip I like a darker lip liner that has a little bit more of a burgundy undertone so that way it can give me that really nice defined lip kind of look. For liquid lipstick I'm using my all-time favorite red liquid lipstick. It is the perfect shade for the holiday season. I promise you if you're looking for a beautiful blue based red that does not look orange on the lips it's a true red this is it right here this is the Too Faced Cosmetics Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lady Balls I know the name is super funny yes it's in the shade Lady Balls it is a beautiful red lip like I said it's what I'm wearing today and then when it comes to a red lip sometimes the red is just a little bit overpowering for me so I like to take any nude liquid lipstick your favorite nude liquid lipstick mine is Laura Los Angeles Liquid Lipstick in Nakey Nakey I took a little bit of this and just applied it to the center of my lips and that's how I kind of got kind of like that red ombre lip kind of look. Super simple and very easy. Um, it's just a little concoction that I like to do and I just wanted to tell you guys what was on my lips. So everything's going to be linked down below so you guys can check it out if you're interested. But yeah, okay, now we can get in to the makeup tutorial. Hey you guys, so now that I've done talked your ears off for a good five minutes at this point, we're finally going to jump into today's look. I'm so excited to be kicking off some holiday makeup looks for the holiday season so of course as always I'm gonna go in with my P Louise base in the shade rumor 2.5 I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lid with this and then I'm going in with the be perfect carnival 3 love Tahiti palettes it's one of my favorites I have two of them in my collection it's so good you can see I get some good use out of this palette and it's just absolutely stunning you can create so many looks with this eyeshadow palette so I'm gonna go in with the shade forest which is the super dark green all the way at the top of the palette and this is kind of just super repetitive but if you're new to my channel the way I like to start off my eye looks is by actually packing on the shadow into my crease kind of creating the shape that I'm gonna be going for for the makeup look that I'm doing so like I said I'm starting off with the shade forest and I'm packing it into the crease and then you will see as I get towards the outer portion of my eye I am just gonna go ahead and start to wing it out and really create that long elongated kind of shape and then I did rub my brush on a paper towel to take off any extra eyeshadow and now I'm rubbing it against that harsh line so that way when I go in with this shade which is called tropics it blends really well and it's extremely seamless I want this to be as seamless as possible when it comes to the blending and then I did also go in with the shade key lime just to go ahead and blend out all the greens so as you guys can see the higher I'm getting up to my brow bone the bigger and fluffier the brush is getting and also the lighter the shades are getting so I decided I wanted to add some depth to my eye makeup look today so I am going in with the black eyeshadow shadow it's from the same palette it's called black beach and because we already created that outline with the darkest green that we used this is going to be super simple and easy so you're just going to follow exactly that line that you created except you don't want to drag this out towards the tail of the brow too far because you don't want it to be super dark at the end I want more of a blown out kind of dark to light ombre kind of look so now that everything is pretty much placed down I just went back in and made sure everything was nice and intense and really nice and blended I did go ahead and take a step back to make sure that I liked the way everything looked and everything matched in the other eye and then I did just go ahead and cut my crease which is a q-tip and some micellar water now once I go in with the q-tip and the micellar water it leaves a bit of like shadow left behind so I've been going in with the makeup white lately just to make sure it's as clean as possible and then I am going to cut my crease I wanted to show you guys I'm using blank canvas from P Louise I did it off camera just because you guys have seen me do it a million times and it's pretty self-explanatory if you do eyeshadow I'm pretty sure you know what a cut crease is by now so I went ahead and cut my crease and then I just connected the outer portion of the eyeshadow look to my outer corner if that makes sense now as far as the glitter around the green shadow I didn't want to go in with a glitter liner 
because I didn't want it to be super chunky, so I decided to opt for a pigment. This pigment is from Peaches and Cream, I believe. Everything's gonna be linked down below, but this was super tedious. So I went in with some eyelash glue, and I didn't outline the entire eye. I did decide to do it section by section, and that's only because eyelash glue, as you know, dries down pretty quickly, and I wanted to make sure that I was able to stick on the pigment before it fully dried. So I'm taking a super tiny detailed brush. This one is from Michaels. It's actually a paintbrush, and I'm just dipping my brush in the pigment and then stamping it on to wherever I applied the eyelash glue and it's super simple very easy very minimal fallout but that's exactly what I did and it came out so good I was obsessed so it does take time but it's so worth it once the finished product is all done for lashes I'm gonna be using the popsy lashes in the style princess these are so beautiful and they were perfect for today's look I love these lashes they're also a small business so if you guys like to support smaller businesses I highly recommend that you guys check them out I also do have a coupon code with them that I will leave down below in the description box so you guys can save some money on their sites but they're amazing and I highly recommend so here's what the eye makeup is looking like let's move on to complexion so for primer I'm gonna be going in with the pore primer from rare beauty I love this primer it really fills in the pores gives you a really nice smoothing effect but it's not drying and it's also not like those other smoothing primers that are super slippery this one is nothing like that moving on to foundation I'm gonna be using the Frankie Rose foundation this is their matte perfection foundation and although it's a matte foundation it still looks very natural it's kind of like a satin finish in my opinion but the coverage is amazing I am mixing two different shades here like I said everything will be down below but I wanted something super full coverage for today's look and then moving on to another product this is brand new this is the Hollywood contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury here's what the packaging looks like when you open it up you kind of twist the top of it it has a sponge applicator you squeeze and the product obviously just oozes out of the sponge which is super satisfying so I went ahead and applied it to the skin of course obviously this is the first time I was using it it was very nice very blendable I love the shade I believe I got the light medium shade and it was really nice I also did build it up to get some more color and I pretty much enjoyed it so that was definitely an A plus for me moving on to concealer this is the flawless day concealer from beauty creations I was so excited for this so packaging is beautiful the wand is a perfect size it's a nice big wand however the coverage just didn't do it for me you guys have you tried this concealer yet because I'm not really loving it I was expecting a lot more and I feel like it just kind of disappointed me I did go ahead and build it up I did a second layer it layered beautifully no issues nothing kind of like got any you know messy or weird or anything like that but still it still did not give me the coverage I was looking for so it's a hard no for me it, yeah it's definitely a hard no for me so I did go in with my collapse at the stage powder and my powder puff from makeup forever and I went ahead and just set underneath my eyes and now I'm gonna go in with powder this is something new as well this is the glowish by Huda Beauty so this is basically a luminous setting powder now if you do not like dewy glowy skin I don't know if you're gonna like this it's not too overpowering where it looks like you just put a whole bunch of glitter on your face but it's definitely very luminous but I enjoyed it moving on to bronzer I'm gonna be using the outer dimension face palette from lunar beauty the packaging is so gorge and you get so many shades in here it's so stunning so I mixed those two shades and look at the pigment I was a little shook I was like okay let me just take it back for a second. So I was able to actually use that one dip that I did for my entire face. I did not have to go back into the palette, which says a lot. She is pigmented. So just warning you guys, but I love it. I think it's amazing. For blush, I'm going to be using the new blush aesthetic palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I am obsessed with the packaging and the colors. These colors are so beautiful and the formula is phenomenal. Two best friends came out with products at the same time. We've got some new Manny MUA and some new Laura Lee in today's video, so that's great. These are the two shades that I used, by the way. That super bright one was my favorite, but I did mix a little bit of the lighter shade as well. Moving on to highlight, I wanted to try out this Dior Skin Highlighter super bougie highlighter it was very pretty and very pigmented and obviously blinding as you can see 
but it was a little bit too icy for me like a little bit too silver but it definitely worked for today's look i don't know if i love it i'll have to try it again so moving back into the lower lash line this part is going to be the simplest you've ever seen because we're not doing any shadow so i'm just going in with the Too faced killer liner in the shade killer cashmere and i'm gonna apply that to my lower lash line super easy and simple and then i am gonna just go in with the mac giga black lash mascara I wanted to show you guys in today's video me actually applying the mascara. You guys, this mascara for your lower lashes is life-changing. You guys always ask about my lower lashes and honestly, it's this mascara. It just lengthens them like nothing else. I'm obsessed. It is so good. So that basically completes the makeup. After that, I just went ahead and applied my bold red lip. I told you guys what the lip combo is in the intro for today's video, but everything will be linked down below. Here's some low lighting of today's makeup look. Like I said, I'd give you guys super beautiful festive look. I love the way this look turned out. Make sure that you guys don't forget to check out Dossier, of course, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.